up guys uh, thank you very much for clicking electrica now uh, today I have this guy here mm, hope you have ever seen him this is a floatless level switch okay and the good thing with it that you have got even a diagram here now this thing here uh, works exactly like this guy here so you remember we've done some videos uh, featuring this guy. So this is a float switch and this is called a float race. Okay. So this floats, this doesn't float. This is a relay. But uh, different from the other relay that we've been seeing in these videos. Okay. Now. This one controls uh, your pump in two ways. Number one, you can either use it to drain a well or to drain anything or even draining a tank or you can use it to supply so it can either fill or withdraw so it has two types of connection so it depends on really what you need okay so you have got this diagram here it will guide you on how to to do that so you see I have these three wires here. These are our electrode. You're going to have something like this. Okay. So you're going to have something like this. So you, you see on the diagram you have E1, E2 uh, and E3. Now the same thing here you have got E1, E2, E3. Now E1 is the ground or the earth. So this one remains in the water and then uh, the, the drain or supply it, you know, plays between these two. Okay. Then the other thing also, we have drawn these two. Now we have here water supply and then we have here water drain. So this base here, it has got two contacts. So it has got a common and the other two contacts. One is closed. Now if you look here, we have uh, number eight right here. So number eight is open. So if you're using supply, it's open to one contactor here and also closed to one contactor. So it depends. If you're using drain, you're going to need normally closed. If you're using uh, supply, you're going to use normally open. How does it work? Now, what happened is, uh, for example, if you're looking at uh, NC here, supply, okay, then it will mean that you're going to have number three inside your water, and then you have number two inside water, and then this. So it means that this thing to be in the closing position, all the three, all the three should be inside water, okay? Now, if one if water drains and it passes the first one, the circuit won't break until it passes the second one. That's when the circuit will break. Okay? So the reverse is true to this. Let us just wire it and then, uh, you know, you see what I'm trying to, to tell. Okay? Okay. Now, we have our water which will work as our tank because without that water we can't do anything okay let's begin with e1 so this is e1 and e1 is connected to contact number three okay so this is e1 and we're going to look at contact number number three which is this one Then uh, E2, which is on contact number 4. So this is E2. Then we look at contact number 4, which happens to be this one. Okay, let's connect E3. Now E3 is number 1. So we're going to look at number 1 here, uh, which is here. Number 1 is here. Now, let us look at uh, the source. So 
the supply to this relay. So the supply is number two and number seven. So the supply is number two and number seven. Then, what is remaining is uh, the two contact here. Now, this contact, we have number 8 here and these two contacts. So, number 8 is common. Uh, one is closed, one is open. Okay? So, we have to link the live here. Okay? So, if you're supplying a pump uh, that is really big, then you don't have to use uh, the, these contacts to supply your pump. You'll have to employ a contactor to help you with that load. Okay? So, we are now going to begin with the closed one. So, we are going to begin with NC. Okay? If we look here, they are telling us that the thing is that number 8 and number 5, they are closed. So we look here number 5, which is this terminal here. And uh, so let's give it a neutral here. Now let's connect our, our contactor here. So we're going to use this. So let's also supply the A1. Because remember, this contactor will be now uh, carrying your pump, okay? Let's connect our supply here. Now we have to put back our... Alright. Okay, now we have the loads here and then we have a mug of water here so we are just going to do the test okay now we have our E1 inside there eh? I mean E3 then we are going to put our E2 like that now this is a well the pump is in a well, so we need it to pump water out of the well to the overhead tank. So the moment we put this, you see the pump runs. Okay? But now what happens is that since the pump is running, all the three are inside initially. Now, if that water drains uh, and then it passes the E1, then water drains passes the E1. Now it goes down. The moment it passes the E2, then your pump will go off. Now, since it is a well, because your pump water goes down the level, now you will wait your, the, the water levels to come back to their initial position. So the, the water will fill E1, you see. Now, until this water reaches E1 here, that's when the pump will. So you see, the E1 give it uh, at the initial start. Okay? So, once again, now, all these three rods, they are inside the water. Okay? The way you see. But now, the water is draining. Now, drains, it passes E1. So it is below E1, right here. Now, E1 is out. Now, E2 is still in the water, okay? Now, water goes below. Now, the moment it goes below E2, it goes off, okay? Now, water comes back to its original position. It covers E2. Now, until it covers E1, that's when the pump will run again. So, basically this will help your pump uh, from you know uh, sucking air you know well pump you know with the wells water goes you know below the threshold that you know you had said now this it always is in there you make sure that the, at least there is that level of water which will never be sucked 
out of your your well okay so this is not for only a well you can even have a, a downer tank you have a, a tank on the ground that will pump water at the average tank it is the same thing so now let's let's change and then see how you can supply water okay okay uh, now we've changed it to you know to any o water supply so we've changed from normally closed to normally open okay now here to supply what we need is to supply water to these tanks now remember that uh, remember that here the uh, during this nc nc meant that uh, the pump can only run if the drain or the well is full when the well is empty it can't run the well will be full then it runs okay but uh, with the normally open it means that the pump will only go on if the well, the well or the tank is empty okay so now in this case we're using a tank so if a tank is empty that's when it will command the pump to pump to fill it now the moment it gets water then the pump will go off which is exactly the reverse of what we were doing okay now same thing we have our earth that is in already and uh, and we need to fill uh, the tank right so now what happens is with the this no is that the pump is running and is filling this tank okay it's already running and it's filling this tank now what happened is is that see, since our e since our e3 is already inside the water now if water fills up to e2 you see this if the water fills up to e2 you see it doesn't go off it's still pumping until the water reaches e1 so this is until water reaches e1 and then the pump will go off okay now what happens it's just the same thing that if you start using this water in the tank and then it goes below e1 you see the pump will not turn on until you use that water below e2 okay now below e2 that's when the pump will go on now we're going to fill the tank okay so i hope you really understand this uh, it's not confusing i hope you understand that this is the reverse okay so uh, let me know in the comment uh, section uh, if you've understood well and if there is any way you've not understood uh, don't hesitate just write a comment and i will, I will you know i will answer your question okay so you're going to use this either you've been seeing boreholes boreholes you have to use this kind of stuff because it's really very dangerous the borehole if finishes water it will burn okay yeah and it keep you know running it will burn so you need this to help you with that but also you can use it to fill your tank like i said if you have a float if you don't want to use a float switch maybe they disturb you and you have this it will work for you you just need to have these rods uh like this exactly this like on the screen to be able to help you to to do that okay all right so thank you very much for for watching please don't forget to subscribe uh to like and sharing you can share to only that person whom you really know that uh is interested interested in this kind of work all right until next time i'm out